hello friends hope you all are doing good and in this video we are going to discuss that uh, if you are not getting calls on nokri so how to improve your chances of getting calls from recruiters so without wasting any time let's discuss so first thing first like your resume is what the recruiter sees for the first time so your nokri like uh, by resume i mean your nokri profile plus like they have certain tools so all the recruiters have like those who all are registered with the nokri so they have certain tools with them so they can download your resume and there are certain keywords which they look out for okay so the first thing is that you should build a solid resume and i have made a dedicated video on how to build a resume and uh, you can click on the i button and watch that and i firmly believe that if you are less than 10 years of experience i'm repeating it again that if you're less than 10 years of experience then one page resume will work out for you like it has worked out for me and in this fast paced world i don't think that a recruiter has so much time to go through four page of resume at max like at max make it two but if you can fit all the information in one page that shows that how well you are how well manage uh, how well you can uh, manage things right so that's i have covered uh, everything regarding resume how to build resume from scratch and everything um, in the video you can watch that and uh, that's it like a resume you, it should be like a solid resume plus whatever the information you are filling on your nokri profile so this is regarding this so complete all the uh, columns which are present there and don't make like don't fill anything just for the sake of filling it so let's say like a couple of days back i was watching this this uh, like this was this guy seven years years seven years of experience and like watching his resume feels like uh, he is not interested in getting a job uh, like someone has forced him to make a resume so don't like resume is the first thing guys so you have to make resume in such a way that it should reflect reflect you okay and same goes with the nokri so if you like whatever the column you are filling try to fill it like unique by unique i mean don't just copy paste things okay so copy paste is a big no no whatever you feel like even it even if it is a one liner it should be like what you actually are okay and that's it like uh, complete your uh, nokri profile that will increase your chance of uh, getting shortlisted because there are certain parameters and similarly uh, like while building your resume so let's say like uh, you are into automation testing okay and you have seen a jd like in nokri you don't uh, like you have a common resume for all the jobs right so you don't uh, like do it for jd but even if you are like 50% prepared in api testing so try to mention api testing so that uh, you match uh, to all those jobs which contain api okay so if it is a api like just write it down and in the interview uh, you can simply tell the interviewer that you have hands on experience but again like if you are 0% in api and you haven't uh, even like worked on postman or you don't know anything then then there is no sense of uh, like writing it down uh, in the resume okay that way like uh, you will digging your own grave now this is like one of the most important point that make changes weekly so even if you change a column so if you refresh your feed or let's say columns so that way uh, you are going up in search so, like if a recruiters if a recruiter want an automation engineer in noida okay and you are based out of noida so he will uh, get a list he or she will get a list and the more uh, changes you make and the regular uh, like how uh consistent changes you make so 
your profile will always be up by those who don't make changes okay so this is a tried and tested method guys believe me that it works so i mean making changes daily is not possible okay that's why i have mentioned that try to make changes weekly just like insert a space in your resume and try to update uh, like uh, try to upload that updated resume that will make a difference okay again uh, if you're not getting calls so let's say you have applied at uh, 50 orgs and you have received call from only two organizations that means there is an issue with your resume so try to go back um, to point number 1 and that means like there is a gap in resume let's say uh, you have applied in 50 and got a call from 20 and uh, you haven't like made it in any one of them that means there is an gap in your knowledge you're not well prepared for the interview got my point so there are certain stages and uh, if you are getting 20 calls that means your resume is okay but your learning is not up to the mark and uh, you have to work on your knowledge okay but even after applying at 50 organizations if you are getting call from two organizations only that means you have to work on your resume i hope it is clear then i have seen guys telling me that uh, this service don't work believe me guys i have like last year i purchased this and again i am not inserting any affiliate link and nokri like this is not a sponsored video so whatever i am telling is from my own experience that it makes a difference okay so like uh, last year i purchased it at 2.5k and i got almost like 180% hike in salary again this is not pro- like i'm not promoting nokri.com this is my own efforts but still like uh, this is if you see the outcome which you can achieve uh, by investing just 2.5k so i think it all makes sense like just make it a shot like this is not if that much uh, big amount so if you are like more than if you are like more than 2 years of experience then i strongly recommend to uh, use this service same goes like i have made a dedicated video on nokri fast forward and linkedin uh, like linkedin also has this premium feature so you can click on this i button and uh, watch that separate video in that i have explained uh what nokri fast forward services and how it actually works but uh, like it all makes sense to me and uh, you should also try it if you can afford it and this 2.5k for 3 months again like most of the organizations notice period is 3 months and uh, when you are trying to search for an organization like this all make very much sense to me okay so that's it guys i try to cover everything and if you still have any doubt just uh, comment down below and i'll try to reply on that thank you for your time bye